so hello and welcome back to the new video of the j unit tutorial series so in our previous video we have seen how we can set up a j unit environment on windows 11 and we have also seen both manual and autom automated uh, process of adding the intel uh, j unit to our intellij idea and now in this video we will seeing how we can uh, set up and configure a j unit uh, to in our project okay so we are adding or installing the j unit into our project and for this video you have to uh, you, the prerequisite for this video is you have to understand the maven first so if you have a good understanding of maven then you can continue this video if you don't have uh, any background knowledge about maven then you can go ahead in our channel and we have also uh, have to, one series on maven we, you you can watch that series you have because you have to understand what is pomrad xml file how maven works how the dependencies are handled in the in maven project because we're gonna set up the j unit and configure the j unit in our maven project okay so i am assuming that you have a good understanding of maven uh, what is maven and what is pomrad.xml uh, okay and then you can go ahead and watch this video okay so let me just open my intellij idea okay um, by the time it's opening uh, do like this video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot okay uh, i will just click on uh, file new project i'm gonna create a new project uh, i will write uh, give the project name as uh, j unit for uh, maven okay uh, any name you can give over here okay so the language should be java and the build system should be maven in this case i am using maven maven build system in our previous video we have used intel j build system and now for this video we'll be using maven build system okay so the jdk i'm using 19 which is the latest one and i'm just gonna say create okay this window it will create uh, it will build and create my project okay so uh, I let it get built okay so now my project is built uh, successfully now uh, you can see uh, since this is a maven project uh, you can see source main java and resources files are there and test files are also there okay so inside uh, first we need to uh, add the dependencies of the j unit in order to use the j unit in our maven project so how we add the dependencies inside a maven project yes by using the pom.xml file so we go inside our pom.xml files since this is a new project there are there should not be any uh, dependencies tag over there so we will add our dependencies uh, we will write uh, dependencies tag and inside dependencies tag we will add our first dependency tag okay so artifact id should be a uh, j unit and the group id should also be j unit okay and the version we will be using the latest one and the scope should be test because the j unit is used for the testing purpose only so we will uh, assign the scope as test only okay so and now we have added the j unit dependencies with the latest version and the scope should be test uh, now we can uh, go ahead and write the test cases for our this project okay so before uh, writing these test cases as as you might recall uh, once we add the dependencies or when well, once we do up any kind of update in our pom.xml file we need to uh, rebuild our project or maven project okay so for doing uh, do this you there are two ways but you just also you just click over here load maven changes uh, and there is also shortcut Control shift o you can also press that uh, shortcut as well or you can click on this button as well or another way of doing this you, you just go inside this maven tab uh, you just click on this uh, download source and other documentation and you just go ahead and click reload all maven projects okay so uh, i'm just gonna go with this uh, little button over here load maven changes it will uh, automatically download the junit dependencies and you can see once you uh, go into ex external libraries the maven j unit uh, dependency is getting added over here okay so now my j unit is a a successfully added inside my project uh, now i can go and uh, create my new java class uh, i will name it as test here and uh, inside this i'm just gonna create 
a new method public a void test and okay and now uh, in order to tell the uh, my project that uh, this is the JUnit test cases method I am just gonna give the uh, annotation as add test and as soon as I write add test uh, the IntelliJ IDEA identifies that uh, this is the um, uh, JUnit uh, method that is used to uh, process the test cases, run the test cases. It will uh, automatically uh, import the org.junit.test uh, import statement and you can see uh, our this method is ready to test. Okay, so uh, uh, don't worry uh, if you don't understand this add test will uh, this these are the annotations we'll be looking on uh, all the annotations or the important annotations uh, which are used in the JUnit in our upcoming upcoming videos so stay tuned for this okay and as soon as I uh, click on this uh, run button oh, little run button over here my test cases should be run okay so since there are no uh, test cases defined in this it uh, the green tick should be there yes uh, all the test cases part test case pass one and process finished with exit code zero okay so this is how uh, you can uh, use maven uh, as your uh, build system and you can uh, add the dependencies of the j unit inside your prompt.xml file and you can use the j unit in your uh, java project and you can define all your test cases over here and you can uh, test those you know, test cases uh, with the java code that you have written over here okay so this is how you can use uh, or you can set up and configure a j unit in your project so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one